write the following rationals in decimal form using theorem 1.2 theorem 1.2 in the textbook is a fundamental theorem of arithmetic so for the first bit we have here 13 divided by 25 so without using long form of division we have to use this theorem so according to fundamental theorem of arithmetic every composite number can be written as a product of primes so 13 is a prime number itself so we can't write it as a product of primes any further and 25 we can write it as phi square so in case if i want to convert this into a decimal i have to convert the denominator in uh, terms of uh, 10 so if i want to convert five, uh, 25 into 100 i have to multiply by 4 and divided by 4 so 13 into 4 is equal to 52 divided by 100. 52 divided by 100, we can simply write it as 0 0.52. Since the uh, number of uh, zeros in the denominator can be uh, used to move the decimal point. So since we have two zeros in the denominator, we can move the decimal point to the left hand side by two places. For the second bit, we have here 15 by 16. So if I have to write it as a product of primes, I will simply write it as 3 into 5 divided by 2 power 4. So if I have to convert this as a product of tens, the denominator as a product of tens, I have to multiply it by 5 power 4. So 3 into 5 divided by 2 power 4 into 5 power 4 into 5 power 4, multiplying and dividing by 5 power 4. So this would give us 3 into 5 power 5 divided by 10 power 4. So that would give me 9375 divided by 10,000. But since I have 4 zeros in the denominator, I can move the decimal by 4 places. 1, 2, 3 and 4 to the left hand side. So the final answer would be 0 0.9375. For the third bit we have here 23 divided by 2 cube into 5 square. So 23 is a prime number by itself and the denominator is already written as a product of prime factors. But here uh, we have to further multiply it by another pi so that we will have the denominator as 2 cube into 5 cube is equal to 23 into 5 is equal to 115 divided by 1000. So 2 cube into 5 cube will give us 1000, 23 into 5 will give us 115. Since we have 3 zeros in the denominator, we can move by 3 decimal places towards the left hand side. So the final answer here will be having a 0 0.115. For the fourth bit we have here 7218 divided by 3 square into 5 square. So 3 square and 7218. So 3 square is nothing but 9 and 7218 uh, can be divided by 9 and we can get 802 so this answer can be further simplified and be written as 802 divided by phi square so in order to convert this phi square that is 25 into product of tens we have to simply multiply it by 4 so 802 into 4 divided by phi square 
into 4 is equal to 3208 divided by 100. Since we have two zeros in the denominator, I can move this by two decimal places towards the left hand side. So that would give me the final answer as 32.08. For the fifth bit here, I have 143 by 110. So 143 can be written as 13 into 11 and 110 can be written as 10 into 11. You can simply cancel out the 11 and the final answer 13 by 10 and since I have one zero in the denominator I can move by one decimal place towards the left hand side and the final answer would be 1.3. Take a screenshot of the solution and please subscribe to our channel for more solutions.